channel. I'm super excited for today's video because I feel like DIY room decor is so requested and I'm finally doing another video. I know I just did one like a month ago I think, but that means it's time for another one. And you can kind of see one of the things I did. It's right here. It's a really cute ombre thing. But the three things that I'm going to be doing is an ombre a bookshelf that is adorable and it looks even cuter than what you can see right there. And then a um, jewelry holder with like I don't know, sticks and like it's just adorable. And then uh, probably one of my favorite ones besides this, I think my two favorite are the pillows and the bookcase holder or the nightstand. So adorable and let's just get into it before I keep talking all about it because I just want to show you guys. So let's go right ahead into the video. Okay, so first I'm going to show you guys how to make this super adorable pillow, um, the snow pillow, and all you're going to be needing is a pillow insert, and I got mine at Walmart for $3, and then some fabric, which I also got at Walmart for like $2.50, and then um, you're just going to be putting your pillow inside the fabric and then folding it over and cutting off any like excess um, fabric, and then once you cut that, you're just going to hot glue the side and then fold it over, and then glue one more of the sides because you want to leave one whole... Um, like one opening so you can put the pillow in so after you glue it just press it down and then glue one more side and then after that side is all glued to you are just going to press that down and then flip the pillowcase inside out and then put your pillow in and once your pillow is in um, then you're just going to glue the fourth side or third because one was already kind of seamed together on mine but you're going to glue it all together then for the bow you're just going to take a little strip fold it in half and glue it down and then you're going to pinch it in the middle and put a piece of glue there and squeeze it and then put a little piece of fabric around and hot glue that as well okay so the second DIY is so adorable it's just kind of like this bookshelf nightstand that I found in my house I was like old and all gross so I just decided to take some acrylic paint and kind of ombre paint it and it's so easy all you do is just paint the bottom like the darker color and then take a white and kind of blend it through at the top and that's pretty much it it's so easy and I wasn't even like planning on showing you guys this but I started doing this DIY and I knew I was gonna make this video and I was like hey this is a really good like idea like they might like this so I decided to show you guys I know it's super easy but that's pretty much all you do to it and then I did that to all the other um sides as well and then I just placed it next to my bed and I just put some of my essentials on it and I just made it look all beachy and so adorable and then the next DIY that I'm going to be showing you guys is so easy as well it's just this like jewelry holder made out of sticks and Laura Laura DIY she did this but I had this idea for so long and I just procrastinated on doing it so now it looks like I was like copying her which I'm so upset about but I decided to do it anyways so if you guys seen it you've seen it but if not not so all you have to do is go outside pick some sticks and then spray paint them um, silver or whatever color you choose to um, spray paint them and then after you do that you're going to want to flip them over and then spray paint the other side and then um, I just took a mason jar that I already had painted gold and blue and I just put my sticks in there and then you know place my jewelry on and that's all for that DIY and it's so cute so that's all I have for the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to give it a thumbs up and by the way if you're watching this right now and you're debating whether to give it a thumbs up or not you're probably like hmm should I take my time to give a thumbs up or should I not you should I'll give you three seconds I'm not peer pressuring you at all I'm just kidding. But you guys should definitely go thumbs it up because I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but thumbs up helps people find the video. So if you do like this video and you want to help others find it, you think it would be helpful towards them, or you just want to thumbs it up for me so other people can watch my videos, that would be very sweet and nice. And if you guys want to do that, go ahead and do that. But if you don't, I'm not going to force you. I mean, I kind of just did, but not really, so sorry about that. And also subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and follow me on social media so we can become best friends. And um, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down which one was your favorite or if you're going to be making any of them. And I will see you guys later. Bye.